Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Now I have done a far more detailed review of the MacBook Pro. You can go through and check out if you so wish, but right now I'm gonna talk about the one problem. You know, the real time everyday use sort of information that you'll only kind of know once you have it and use it. And I've got a very short bit of information that might help you if you're looking to buy a MacBook Pro, because if you are looking to possibly buy a MacBook Pro, especially the model that I've got, you might be very interested to know that there is a fundamental problem with this line of MacBook Pros. And it's not the thing that you're thinking of that's been in the news. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Now before we jump into it, quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Wondershare. Now very recently I did a video on PDF Element. They've also now got PDF Element Express, and this is perfect, hence the reason why I'm doing it on this video, for Mac. So it's absolutely great if you've got trials and tribulations working with PDFs, trying to edit them, trying to annotate them, and really, really struggling, this does it absolutely brilliantly. And it does it without any of the unnecessary fillers that you will get with some other products that do a similar thing. It's simply edit and annotate job done. There's a free trial and the link will be left in the video description below. You can go through and download that. Right, so the MacBooks and the MacBook Pros are one of the most popular laptops that you can currently buy on the market. And there are, of course, pros and cons to both of those different devices. I'm going to be talking about the MacBook Pro because it is the, the pro user for, you know, real hardcore use. And I know there's people screaming at the camera now saying, don't get a MacBook Pro if you want a heavy duty laptop. And to some extent, that's what I'm saying right now. My usage on this device comes mainly for video editing. For YouTube, I do a lot of videos. I also know a lot of other people who buy the MacBook Pro, they do it for that same reason. And that's why I wanted to share my experience in case you are looking to shell out all that money for a new MacBook Pro. But right now, I'm gonna talk about the one problem. And the one problem comes in the form of the MacBook Pro 2017 edition. And the reason why I feel it's still important to bring this video to your attention, even though this device is technically a year old, is because a lot of people out there don't necessarily buy the very latest version of any device. Lots of people wait for a new device and then buy the one that's a year old because usually it's still a great bit of kit, pretty much up to date, but just not quite the latest. And for that reason, there's a lot of money to be saved usually. But the main problem with the 2017 model in terms of video editing, which a lot of you guys will probably be buying a MacBook Pro for, is its inability to handle 4K at 60 frames a second. Whenever I've used 1080p at 60 or 4K at 30, it's worked, you know, nigh on pretty much perfect. And of course you can flip between quality and performance in terms of playback. So you can get even better performance with a reduced picture clarity, just while you're editing, just again, to make things much smoother. But even when you're on the performance mode, at 4K at 60, especially if you've got two bits of footage that you're sort of editing between the two of them, it is one of the most jarring experiences I've had in a long time and not something you would expect from a pro device. There's a fundamental problem when it comes to high quality footage video editing. And it of course makes the process of editing a lot slower because of that, because you're constantly having to go back and check whether things were okay, because it jars and skips and it's just, it's a, it's a bit of a mess really. Just really doesn't like 4K at 60. So certainly if you're arming and arming between saving money and getting the 2070 model over the latest model, then if you're shooting in 4K at 60 or higher, then I would strongly recommend paying the extra money and going with the latest model or indeed getting a different device altogether and swerving away from a MacBook Pro. Definitely go and do your research, test out the 2080 model, or of course go and try out uh, another brand altogether because there are some cracking laptops on the market, probably for a cheaper price as well, that if you're happy to use Adobe Premiere Pro, for example, then that might be a better option for you. Time to go back to today's video sponsor. They were, of course, Wondershare. The product was PDF Element Express. Very simply put, you can edit text, you can add images, you can annotate documents, just like you would with a Word document. You can also add, delete, extract bits of information from the document, as well as add website links, etc. You can insert pages from other PDF documents, plus you can also delete any unwanted pages or edit the page order. And another fantastic feature is that you can actually split pages, so you can split one PDF file into multiple documents. It just means that no matter what documents you're using, you will be able to view them using this software. It supports macOS 10.12 and above. There's now a wider page view, faster page operation, and it's easier to annotate than ever before. Like I said at the start, I will leave a link to the software in the video description below. There is a free trial available, so you can go through and see whether it will work for you before actually parting with any money. So go and have a look. 
I hope it's useful for you. Like and share if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video on anything tech, pretty much daily content here on YouTube. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, TP's out.